Guys, welcome back. So we broke the GoPro, um, smashed the glass, trying to fly and chase the uh, the aeroplane. So we bought a kit. I'll put a link to the kit somewhere in the description, or maybe attach it here. We bought. Um, bought this kit and just gonna see how long it takes to fit it. So we paid um what did we pay for this? Nineteen dollars for this. Well my few did. And you get all the screws, I don't know what that is. There's a piece here. We'll find out when we take it apart. If you've taken one of these GoPros apart before then obviously this isn't the video for you but if you're flying around with your with your GoPro and you're thinking of Ooh, what happens if I break my screen then this might be of interest Squ squeaky seat let's see if we can find a cloth so that looks like it's got some marks on it that's better looks clean yeah Thing, guys. Okay, that's a bit better. So we don't have as many shadows. Are these screws? You get the screwdriver with the kit, it's sort of a hex, sort of a star end on it. Um, these screws come out pretty easy. I'm surprised. I suspect if you hit concrete and you grind off the side of the screw, be a little bit different but otherwise I think these have been off before Look, some sort of lock you can see they look blue Loctite on them I don't think we need Loctite now come on I think they've just turned it on <laughs> oops it's probably filming me doing this now yeah filming me. Okay, it's all the screws out. I'm gonna get the back up. Let's just get the screws. Oop. Oop. There you go. That was pretty simple. Oh I see. Now will we get a seal and everything with this? I'll be honest. I don't think we need to seal all the new screws. I think all we need to do is uh, change this. For that, let's keep the original on, eh? I can feel it pushing on the seal. You can feel that, you can see it. So I'm going to keep the original GoPro seal and it looks exactly the same. So I'm just going to keep the original seal and I'm going to just change that. Just to double check the lens is clean. Luckily it didn't break the lens. That's about it. Could even keep the original screws. I'd rather keep the originals because they they come in the They actually fit the holes better, don't they? Unless you have a little bit of Loctite on them, making them stiffer. So 
so yeah, that just fits straight back in. I'm not tightening them up fully, I'm just just lightly screwing them down. And what I'll do is I'll tighten them up like uh, from corner to corner just to make sure that the, uh, the face fits flat. Oh, screw missing. Good that you get the whole kit, but really you don't need the whole kit. You just need the screen. And if there's any cheaper options just to buy the screen on its own. But then again, saying that guys, you're gonna need this. You're gonna need the right screwdriver for it. So let's go across, nip it up, across. It up across. I can feel it moving around in my hand. Down, across, across, it's tight, across, and that is fitted. A new screen. Okay, guys, and that was much quicker than I thought it would be. So if you have one of these screens and the screwdriver spare and it's in your car, you could change the screen while you're flying. Okay. Well, that didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> so uh, anyway, we've got bits that we don't need. So if you want to change the screen, buy the kit, 20 bucks. Just keep your same screws in, put the screen on. Perfect. Done. Takes. How long did this take? five minutes less than that so from that to that <laughs> okay till next time guys cheers and stay don't crush your gopros twenty dollars a go each time Matthew that's who was flying it till next time guys cheers